What is going on everybody, Gerard here and I am bringing you another action figure review. Today we are reviewing the brand new Mark 7 orange and purple colorway from the brand new wave of the Spartan Collection series. Um, this series dropped maybe a week ago, uh, it was actually leaked a few months ago, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard about it or whatnot. Um, I actually snagged this guy two weeks ago, got him delivered, or not two weeks ago, two days ago, got him delivered. Um, you know, you can find him at Target, to find him, uh, a Mercari, you know, for resale, obviously, you wouldn't know if you wanted to pay that, uh, but these figures run tw for 20 bucks, uh, which is pretty worth it with the accessories that come with it and the way the detail is, um, so yes, uh, let's go ahead and delve deep into it and see, you know, the, the details and stuff like that, so yeah, let's go ahead and get it open. All right, everybody, we are back, so we got this guy unboxed, um, as you can tell, colorway looks amazing, I mean, figure just looks like an ordinary Mark 7. Looks great right off the back, though. I love the new colorway. I mean, for me, it brings back that original Halo look, you know. But, I mean, it just, it looks amazing. Uh, one thing I do not like, though, about these new waves, for some reason, they do not do the uh, chrome visors anymore. They don't, like, the re the reflective ones. Uh, they did it with the rest of the uh, waves, the first two waves. But, for some reason, I don't know why they took these, uh, those reflective vis visors away from... Uh, this new wave, which is probably, which is the only letdown that I have in my opinion about these, these new figures, but I mean, overall it still looks great. I mean, it's the same size as any other, uh, Spartan series figure, uh, you know, colorway on it looks great. Here's the side back, uh, right off the bat, you can already see, you already have these, I believe these come off. Yeah. Right off the back come with the same side pegs that, um, you know, they came with before. So yeah, these look pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. They'll snap right in. Same as the other ones, you can take those pegs right off to put, you know, the any weapon you want, the any sidearm you want. Really, the MK50, I think that's the only one that fits in there. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, I will say this about these figures: be cautious when you buy these. I'm gonna start off with the weapons first. As you can tell, this sniper is. It is bent to the right. Uh, I could already tell when I bought the pack. You know, they uh, figured that the sniper was bent for some reason. I guess it just wasn't packed right. Um, and these, these, you know, weapons are really flexible. See, you can bend it this way, this way. And that's the reason why it, it bent because it was stuck in a position to where it was pushed to the right like that. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, regular sniper, Halo sniper rifle right that. It comes with, it also, I think a pretty cool feature they added was it comes with the uh, tripod or the shooter's rest, weapon's rest on it. Uh, you can move these down this way, move these up. Uh, I believe they spread, hold on. The rest, the rest isn't really that good. I guess since, you know, it's so weak, the, what it's made out of, which is basically plastic, it's really flexible. So it won't be able to hold, but I mean, still get some good shots in with this sniper. I mean, Looks pretty cool. Uh, great detail on it. You got the scope right here. Ooh, it's that. they actually added a little blue scope. That's it's pretty nice. But um, yeah, I will say be careful with these because these are really, really flexible. So you might have to bend them back and forth to get them to the way you want. Uh, the MK50 sidearm piece right here that he, that it came with. You see these previously previously in the other uh, Spartan Collection figures. I think it's a pretty cool piece that comes with it. Um, what else? Uh, the comes with the assortment of hands, you know, same old, same old, wide open hand, uh, same thing, wide open hand, balled up hand, balled up hand, and I believe this is like a, I don't know what this is, like a weird position hand, I don't know, but uh, you know, same old accessories it comes with, brand new thing is a sniper rifle, but you might get it bent, you know, I noticed these figures, uh, the, like, I guess, the first waves of these figures usually come with some kind of uh, error, like maybe the sniper rifle is bent or like the, the, the weapon is bent or something or, you know, the joints are just too tight, stuff like that, which is common when it comes to, you know, brand new figures coming out, especially the uh, wave ones. You know, I've had some issues with the other, other uh, Spartan series um, figures from the wave ones, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, so let's get to the... Uh, Let's get to the uh, articulation. Same old, 90 degree angle with the feet, the legs. Uh, 
I don't believe this one goes back either. Oh yeah, this one goes back a little, but not too much. So, you know, if you press back too much, you might break it. Be cautious there. Same thing with this leg. Ooh, that one's a little stiff. Uh, 90 degree angle with the leg lifting up. Uh, the joints at the, a little stiff right here. I don't know why, but probably nothing. Just need to break it in. Um, the joints right here at the knees, actually really smooth. 90 degrees as well. See that right angle. Uh, same thing on this side. Oh, same thing. Just this one's a little more, I guess, stiff. Seems like it says you just need to break these in, get the uh, articulation going with these. But good articulation with the knees. And vertically, you can move the feet up, move it down, up and down if you want. Good articula articulation there, horizontally. Uh, not really, you can twist and wiggle it, I guess that's about it. Down, up, same thing on the uh, other foot. Vertically, moves really, really great, really smooth, I will say that myself. Uh, let's go to the arms. So the arms, arms, move 360, pretty good, same old, same old. And the joints right here at the forearm. Ooh, this one's tight. So they can move 90 degrees as well. Same old, I don't know why, for some reason it's tight. Need to break it in. It's more tight than the uh, grapple hook chief that I did a review on, but uh, probably just need to break it in. It was in the packaging longer than that one anyway, so same thing right here. Articulation is great. Uh, 90 degree angle. Now let's go ahead and go to the head. So horizontally, it moves great. See that? Left and right. Vertically, no articulation at all. You cannot, I mean, you can wiggle it up a little bit, but that's pretty much it. The more you go, the more it'll probably break. But horizontally, you can really get some good angles there. See that right there? I believe it has a peg on the back right here. Oop, it is. Yeah. So little old peg right here. If you can see that. It goes inside the back. You just flip it around like this. And then you put it in its back facing this way. For some reason it doesn't want to stick in there, but that's okay. You could put it back in if you want it uh, back that way if you don't want to put a weapon on his back. But I mean, yeah, it's a regular old Mark 7, just orange and purple. Looks pretty great, as you can see, standing pretty weird. Uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on the Palmer or the Odious or the Noble 6 one, but I mean, it still looks uh, great, great figure. Just don't like the regular old bland visor that they put on this one for some reason, but I mean, it looks great. Uh, size comparison, as you can see, same old size comparison. This one's just a little slouch because his feet don't want to stand. Same old compared to a mill, look about the same, but yeah, size comparison isn't really that, it doesn't really differ dif differentiate that much. Um, I do like this one a little more than the green and gray one, I believe that I have. It's the one with the energy sword. Um, I mean, I said, I'd suggest putting this figure in your collection. It looks amazing. Uh, especially since this is the first figure with the sniper in the Spartan collection. It's just really, I mean, look at this. That's the only thing I don't like is how bendable it is, you know, flexible it is. It might take some time or some maneuvering to actually get that figure or that, you know, sniper in the right position. So I don't know how well it holds. Uh, but I mean, yeah, that is really overall the review of it. It's the same thing as any other Mark 7. Comes with the uh, sniper rifle that defers. Uh, the assortment of hands. It comes with the MK50. Looks great. Like I said, the only, you know, bad thing about it probably is the reflective visor is not on there. But that's, that's okay. You know, these new steps that they're taking. Maybe next wave we'll get those. Um, but yeah. Um, but so yeah, it's pretty much the review. Uh, I will ask that. You know, if you're still watching this, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, you know, any support helps. Definitely keeps the channel going. Um, I'm going to start doing Star Wars reviews or Star Wars figures reviews. Might do Pokemon openings as well soon. Uh, just got to get my hands on some new ETBs and stuff like that. Uh, but I mean, yeah, figures overall great. I would give it a 10, maybe a 9, 9.5 because of the visor. It's pretty much it, but definitely a great figure. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. You know, any support definitely helps. Follow me on my uh, Instagram. That is on 
my it's just gonna be in the description below so uh yeah thank you all for watching and please have a great day thank you